so open. Real time body sensors checked. looks to get us underway. Bansley featured in three other world championships, 17th in Rome and Stadio Blanca in 2013, before fifth in The Hague. Wilkerson's the tour's best blocker in 2018. They took a third in Brazil earlier on in the season. The service pressure has lit this one up straight away. Really has. Last two seasons for Wilkerson and Bansley, they finished a ninth in 2017, a fifth here at the World Tour Finals last year in August. A ninth in Warsaw wasn't the finish they wanted, but Wilkerson is a fantastic blocker and Bansley. It's just outrageous already. Dynamic and very quick, but the knuckle back to the line. Kim Barrett. Well, they've taken two tournaments on their national tour together alongside two tournaments on the world tour, they finished third on their national circuit, which the German national circuit is one that's really tough. If you think about how much depth is in the German program at the moment, two from two, Tillman and Berrett just firing it up early doors. Get Berrett again. Wilkerson just fixes on the line and she's beaten to the angle, sharp as you like. Massive game. The winner of this game will probably take second and avoid any chance of a lucky loser round. It will also mean that they will have to play another second place going forward in the eliminations. No one wants to be in this lucky loser's ground. They want to avoid it at all costs. It's a physical game as we're seeing already out here. But the difference at this competition is that there's actually less games per day. On the World Tour, they're playing two, and the odd time, the very odd time, three. So this is a completely different dynamic, this tournament. One game per day, but that's a little bit of flair. Senior Tillman just sets up, still, stable, and then extends with the arms on the back set. This one could be a close one in Hamburg. It really could. And it is tricky so far for Canada. Gets the call. Banzi running that back set, trying to stretch the play. She does stretch it, snaps it back as well. Good timing, good reactions from Wilkerson. She hurries back in the left-hander who's really taken the world tour by storm because of how quick she is with her feet and how athletic she is. But Germany have beaten her and Bansley again here. It's one thing making a touch as a blocker, but another thing to be able to land, turn and make two consecutive touches on the ball. Not that time, though. 5-2, excellent first end. And now everyone's looking at each other. It looks as if Bansley might have just dug Wilkerson in the face. Ouch! 
Jacobson. That one's got to hurt Bansley. With no intention of almost knocking her partner out there. But probably some empathy when Wilkerson didn't get the second ball. Maybe a little bit of empathy. Looks like there's a timeout here. Looks like there's a mark as well. Hopefully it doesn't affect the performance of Wilkerson too much. It looks as if it's going to uh, shine for a, a while, that mark. Not the start that Canada would have wanted. Wilkerson first competed internationally in 2014. Bansley the target though. He really uses every little bit of energy in her body to get up high there. Arms are working hard. The heel really engages into the floor as she jumps to get up as high as she can. This game is all about being higher, faster, stronger quicker along the net with your plays as well. Great setting from Germany. Not converted. Tillman, though, has to really chase that one and then put the brakes on, be stable and really loft it into the net with her arms. Better passing from Germany. It's a good run, this, from Canada, but it's brought to an end. Working off the body away, the defender, Bansley, sits in the power line of the spiker. Behrens knows that, good vision, and just works it away. Service pressure. Other German teams to look out for here, though. Carla Borger, Julia Suda, one of the four German teams to qualify via the world rankings as well. They joined forces in March, and they just have the one medal of bronze in Kuala Lumpur. But they're a new team as well. Borger, 2016 Olympian. He took a silver medal in the World Championships in Stary Bronchi all the way back in 2013. That seems like some time ago now. Marta Managati and Victoria Orsi Tuth turned up last night against Sandra Idlinger and Chantal Laboria from Germany, another German team, the Italians. Well, they're the only Italian team in this tournament in Hamburg to qualify through the world rankings. In the men's side, they've got three teams, one wild card. Nikolai Lupo as well qualified through the world rankings. That's off the body work once again from Germany. Here comes the boom, just booming around the Red Bull Beach Arena. Oh, it's an absolute ripper. Good game, this one. And also a team to look out for who have made the most of the team from the Czech Republic, Barbara Hermanova and Marketa Slakova, not being here through injury are Latvia, Tina Grodina and Anastasia Kravchenoka have taken their pool, which is pool B, without losing a game. The former European age group champions playing really well. Chipping back to the line. We've seen the sharp angles from Germany. Now we see them go high to the line, making sure they can hit both sidelines, asking questions of Canada already. Bansley almost just hoiked off the net as the pass is slightly too tight from Bansley. Back on one, trying to seize an opportunity, but it goes a little bit astray. Your apology from Bansley. We've seen that same play from Laura Ludwig and also Marta Menegati throughout this competition.
tracking it all the way home. Paul Gasuda has, there's another point for Germany here, beating April Ross and Alex Kleinman yesterday here in the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. And that's a big result for them. The Americans won in Brazil. Ai Tabima, just a month or so ago, off the body. Well seen, second opportunity. Wilkerson from where she likes to hit from, which is with the width but stepping around on the sharp angle and then sending that one to the stars. On to Bansley, seen late. They're using a, four, a few different tools. Here at Canada, but they're definitely pushing harder after a slow start. Bansley. Utilising the right to play on two. from Germany so far has been the real difference. They're siding out with ease. They have great, great rhythm here. Making late dives into the cross-court areas, Wilkinson, but she's beaten past the outside hand. Bansley now going on the back set, hitting from the right side. Good play, stretching the court using all eight meters of the net. Just to go and work the ball over the hands that weren't quite set due to the amount of moving that Behrens had to do there. Purposeful plays for Canada certainly will pay off in the long term. When we're talking about teams who could win this competition, Canada are one that would fancy their chances. The other Canadian team of Melissa Manaparadez and Bansley's old partner, Sarah Pavin. Another team that are here to certainly try and win the competition underneath the guidance of their coach, Scott Davenport. They're based in California. As the referee, Satomi, is finally announced after a mistake in the opening proceedings of this game. As the referee, Satomi, is finally announced after a mistake in the opening proceedings of this game. Paul G also has given us some thrills and spills, really, throughout this game, or this competition. Paul G with Joy Stuber, Marlene Van Erzel, really playing so well to take that ball. Germany score again, but they beat two very good teams the Dutch. Marlene van Erzel, a two-time European champion. It'll be interesting to see how they fare as this competition goes on because they've already beaten two teams that have won on the World Tour this season. The Dutch themselves haven't won an event. Wilkerson goes through. But to beat Kerry Walsh Jennings and Brooke Sweat, who won earlier on in the year in Xinjiang, and then to beat the Australian pair of Taliqua Clan seat and Maria Fay Altaccio, who won in Warsaw. Two big results for them to top that pool. And then the Australians have had to really 
battle past the three-time Olympic gold medalist, Kerry Walsh, to qualify. But Wilkerson, best blocker on the FIVB World Tour 2018, goes low, goes late, but that's aggressive. And it's a sign of real intent, reaching back to the line, drawing the curtains on Germany that time. Serve goes long and Germany are back in front. Remember, the winner of this competition will join just the most elite names that have ever played the game. Misty May training, Kerry Walsh Jennings, who first won a world championship in Rio in 2003. They won three in a row, Berlin and Stad 2005-2007. The World Tour heading to Stad after this for another Beach Majors event. And Jen Kessin, April Ross, upset Brazil in Stavanger in 2009. That was a tournament that was missed by Misty May, trainer, and Walsh Jennings. But whoever wins, we know it's open. But they're joining the best names that this game and sport has ever seen. Off the nets, change events, four point game. So close, so, so close, and they know it. They don't need to be told, and they're having fun because they're beating one of the world's best at the moment. The pressure on Wilkerson here, who missed her previous serve. Serving super deep. Tillman lines the call to tell her partner where the block is situated. It then gives Sinja Tillman the chance just to whip it back and beat Bansley. Good, good. The world's number one team for a while, this Canadian side, but they're struggling to get out of the first gear because they're being pushed and pushed by Germany. It's another little bit of work in transition. The fans loving it here on home sand. The young Germans. Their young team as well. Providing the goods. Just chipping it away and scoring. Fourth tournament together on the FIVB World Tour. The 17th and the 25th. Their best results. But it doesn't matter about results. This is a world championship. And anyone can really beat anyone. Well seen again. From the left side, Germany looking for two transition plays in a row. Nice and calm from Bansley, though. This time from the left goes to the line. She just has the ability to stay really calm and smooth. And that's experience. But some of these shots telling us the exact story of this game. 110% from Canada and Germany. Nothing less is accepted. The inside, Tillman operating the back set to try and move the block. Wilgerson moves, but she also keeps her eye on the spiker. Also, she's aware where the ball is coming from and then goes bosh with the hands. Maybe there's a changing of the guard here now. Canada going well again. Yeah. Serving very central. And where Tillman took the back set before, she stays in front this time. Just guides it back to the line. This game really alive, doubling up or going late, Bansley to the line. Wilkerson taking the angle this time after making the kill block in the previous points.
concentration on the faces of Canada. They can concentrate all they like. But when Kim Behrens goes back and serves like that, it's a rocket sent from Germany. And now they have their first set point. The 20 second seeds from Germany have upset the number three seeds in the opener here in Hamburg. But they're going to have to stay consistent. The serving has been relentless from Germany and the pressure now really on the number three seeds. The second highest seeding of this competition because the number one seed is always the highest ranked host nation country. Wow. The serving too tough again. They've got nothing to lose here. Behrens and Till taking the first. Germany again showing their depth in this sport. One set to zero, more aces. That's the absolute difference at the moment between the two and the kills. Canada have not put enough balls in the sand. That's the aim of the game. The race 21 points. Laura Ludwig, Kira Volkenhorst won in Vienna two years ago. They're now separated. Ludwig has just won the opening match here prior to this one in the Red Bull Beach Arena with new partner Mazzy Kozuk. They qualify for the next round, but there's certainly an opening for a German team to take the initiative as the top German team at the moment, as there's such a big shuffle around of the partnerships with Kira Volkenhorst. Retiring from the game, unfortunately, due to persistent injury problems. Kozuk left. Her partner, Carla Borger. Borger partnered with Julia Suda, who left Chantal Laboria. That actually meant that Sandra Idlinger, who was playing with Behrens here, number one, left as well. So there was a massive shake-up. There's so many good players in Germany now. The domestic tour, really strong. Out is the call from Canada. It's a great start from them, three in a row, after letting the opening set slip. Maybe that's just a lesson for them. Remember, they've already dropped one game that they wouldn't want to have dropped in this pool stage. How big is Wilkerson on that net? You just can't imagine. No angles for Germany to score that time. There's not many who reach as high over in World Beach Volleyball than Brandy Wilkerson. So many angles taken away from the spiker when Wilkins is taking all that time and space. Three in a row. The unofficial rule for a team taking a timeout. Germany, well, they wouldn't have got complacent but Canada have really come out slightly better to the line. Bansley now looks far more animated in what she's providing. And so Wilkinson as well. Wilkinson from way downtown off the net. The Southmore only finds the net this time. Both of these teams 
losing out to the Swiss, John Heydrich and the Nick Versha Dupree, who have really played well after a tough season last year. In their first season together, the two blockers were put together due to the retirements of their previous partners. Izzy Fora and Nadine Zumka after Rio 2016. So the two blockers went together and then Joanna Heydrich suffered from injury for long periods of last season. But it looks like they've got it together here at the biggest stage of all and beating Canada, this Canadian team, in the earlier group round was some effort from them. Whether they can make the most of that as they steal the three seed into the knockout stages. Remember, Canada are the top seeded team in this group. And if they don't win their group, they lose their seeding. What they can't afford to do is come third. More games would be tough enough, but also the loss of seeding would be meaning they have a real tough route to the final if they want to win the World Championship. As much as it's great to play the best teams, you don't want to be playing them in the round of 32. And also, some of the teams who are top qualifiers won't want to be playing this Canadian team either in the round of 32. They're a team that win on the World Tour. They're a team that medal all the time. And if they don't win this set and win the tie break, the chance of them coming second so, so slim. Ace from Bansley doesn't look as if at this moment in time, though, they have much to worry about in this second to take it to a third and final tiebreak set. Yeah! Screaming. Screams echo around the Red Bull Beach Arena. No one's the call. Bansley rips another one to the line. And this is when they're working together at the best. They can possibly play because Bansley doesn't put that ball away, but it's a continuation play that puts Germany under pressure. Wilkerson is so big on the net that as soon as you set tight, it's good night. Wilkerson again serving. Chasing in, five-point game. Good stable setting. Stable setting from Germany, but incredible defense from Canada. Second time, it's taken Germany something special to beat Canada there. That's a special shot. High risk, Bansley, three times the world's best defender, beaten on that occasion. Not the first time, but the second time. That shot there, though. That's why Bansley has been voted for as the world's best defender three times in a row. Good's the call, but it was left from Bansley. The door is open again for Germany. The home crowd awake. Fantastic serve. Second time it goes long. Change of ends, advantage Canada in this set. But in the context of the game, still very much in the balance. The favourites, Canada, have just let the opening set slip. That's way long, though. Second time, the lead from Bansley. Very good. Olivia. 
Setting off the net, breaking angle. Bansley reads it. It's a slow moving break from Wilkinson on that softer shot away from the body that Behrens has really played nicely throughout this match, leaving Bansley to swing to the line and take the more powerful swing. So much volleyball still coming our way in the next six days that are left in this competition. It's another error from Canada, and this has been really uncharacteristic of them. They got off to a flying start in this second set, but you can just sense a certain level of unconfident play from one of the world's most confident teams on their day. A fifth here for them last year in the World Tour Finals. Lots of ninths and fifths as well. Challenge for the block touch, and they really need something to go their way because Germany have got the advantage. There's some this celebrations replay, right? from Kim Behrens out there as well. This is a replay. She's sure she didn't touch it, but Hawkeye has the best eye, and that one has been turned around. Huh? After the net, it was a block touch. So. After the net, there was a block touch. Okay, so there is only one challenge. It looked as if Canada was celebrating that being awarded back to them. But it is Germany. There was no block touch. Through the middle, sitting into that seam really late. Germany have been exceptional. They really have. Behrens again opens up her elbow and it allows her to access the whole line. Delightful. It really has been from, as mentioned previously, a team who have so new to each other's company in this sport. Maybe it's an advantage. For some teams, they've been playing together for a long, long time. Spain's Lillian Elsa on the women's side of the draw, been playing together since 2007. They know each other so well. Beach volleyball partnerships can last longer than some marriages. Two-point game, another stoppage in this one. It's very quiet. The Canadian corner. Some words of support from the more experienced at the band's loop. But they have the better start, but it's Germany that are really pushing here. They're making some transitional plays. Canada can't afford to lose another game here. They've been dug again. Wilkerson, and then the knuckle! The body faces out the back of Corton Tillman. Just gets after it. Wilkerson dug dramatically from Barrett. And then Tillman just fish hooks it back. Stunned here, Canada. The battle for second in this pool, electric. It's a six point game moments ago. This is a incredible run, but also an intriguing game now. Running the ball wider, Wilkerson snaps back angle, and that's a much needed point. It really is a much needed point from the Canadians. Wilkerson works wrist away. Former champion April Ross, now coached by her partner that she won the World Championship with in Stavanger. 
2009, but back to this one. You just have a sneaky feeling that the stars are aligning for Germany. Even in those positions, when the chances are against them, they find a solution somehow. Never give up. And you might just get very fortunate. the serve goes long. There's still a two-point cushion, but it's a nervous time for Canada because it was far more at the beginning of this set. Five or six, the difference is now two. And Germany still really have nothing to lose there. The underdog's in this one. Wider play, trying to move Wilkinson, snap back angle. This wider play, something that teams are playing with. The Australians very good at running it to the pin. And it's just another indication that as the game gets more physical, teams have to make those bigger blockers move on a more regular occurrence to try and put them under pressure. Time out. This one is a close one. Make sure you don't go anywhere. So confirmation has come through that the Swiss pairing of Heydrich and Virgil Dupree have won their final game in this pool C against Brozero and Arotti from Uruguay. Meaning this is definitely the race for second in the pool. Three point lead. Canadian fans singing away down there, but Bansley can't quite adjust on that occasion. One of the best movers and shakers on this tour, but beaten to the inside. Good from Germany. The other Canadian team in this competition as we've mentioned before, Bansley's ex-partner Sarah Pavin playing with Melissa. Squeaked through the top of the table clash a little bit earlier on in Port I against Sponsel and Kleiss from the USA. 18-16 in the last. What a classic. But this one could have all the makings of a classic as well. This game just keeps surprising us. Emma Bansley does not get aced very often. But she's beaten short to the inside again. That ball's starting to do so much in the air, making it very difficult to track. Also, confirmation coming through from Paul Jay that Kojuk and Ludwig have... Uh, one Paul J after winning earlier on today, after losing two nights ago to Maria Antonelli and Carroll. That's very good for the local superstar of German volleyball, Ludwig. They go through Paul J as top seeds after they could have finished as third in that pool at the beginning of the day. Wilkerson works off the body. Her body faces cross court and she just whips it back to the line. Canada have some breathing space again. But as this game draws to an end, the pressure will build up and that breathing will get slightly heavier for them as they feel the pressure. Again off the body. It's a one-point game. 
for anyone who's followed this set the whole way through, the cushion from Canada has disappeared. And they just cannot afford to finish this pool stage in third position. It opens up the opportunity for Germany to take second seed and take the better draw into the elimination rounds. Good coverage from Wilkerson. They need this desperately. No. Germany with all the fight and desire in front of the home crowd, but Wilkerson with the physicality that comes with being the world's best blocker in 2018. Pick that one out. Another team that haven't really been talked about, and the Brazilians as well, so you can never count any Brazilian team out of a world championship. Barbara and Fernanda just seem to be going under the radar here in pool L. They've taken that pool. Wilkerson again, chips line. We've seen power from Wilkerson, then we just see a guide that one back. So, little glance. Jumping back to the angle, Bansley beats to the left-hand side. Interesting to see if she's really struggling with a bit of an injury out there at the moment. She doesn't look herself. And the Bansley that we've come to know and love in the beach volleyballing world is one who's super dynamic. Really aggressive again. She's not quite got the hops at the moment that she usually has. Be interesting to see if there is a reason behind that from Bansley. One point game again. Germany knocking on this world championship door. But when you have a chance, an opportunity, you have to take it. A missing serves may just cost Germany this second set. Bansley pops this one in. To the right side, that's sharp. Fourth competition together on the FIBB World Tour. It would only be normal to ask questions of how they handle the pressure. But they're doing a great job. Sinja Tillman, well done. Concentrating hard again, Canada. Good's the call, passing slightly to the right-hand side. Bansley, higher, more dynamic again. Fires home to the line. Both teams holding their side of the bargain when it comes to siding this ball out at the moment. Fast passing inside, chip back to the sideline. And as we just mentioned, this is a pressure time of this game. Second in the pool will mean everything to these teams at this time. And they're both siding out and making clutch plays when they need to. Respect. Bansley again the target. Long, slow touch in the bump sets from Wilkerson. Stunning. Bump setting, fading away to the floor. Slowness in the touch that allows Bansley to fire, but it's just wide. It's good volleyball all round. It's not a bad swing from Bansley either. 18 all. They pegged it all the way back and on two. Wilkerson gets back to business. And this is business. T 
teams training, working so hard to deliver in these circumstances. At this le level of competition, Bansley just jumps back in and chips line. Set point now, two in a row at key time. That's precious for Canada. The crowd on their feet. First set point for the number three seeds. It's very tight. First one saved from Germany. We talk about holding their nerve here. Tillman just hangs it up there. Second set point. Bansley passing really well on two. What a dig. Oh, and the backspin knuckle from Tillman is into the net. Canada, the number three seeds. Well, that was a topsy-turvy set where they got off to a great start, gave it away, but then they came good at the very end. We go to a tie-break set to 15 to see who's going to finish second in this pool. This is how it finished. The backspin knuckle going slightly astray. Opportunity here for Canada to do it the hard way. Well, the match statistics, it's a close one. More aces for the Germans. 26 kills for Germany as well. Not enough kills for Canada. More blocks. That's all Wilkerson. And the errors are fairly similar as well. The side-out percentage on the first stage of play. 17%, not enough. But that's only calculating that first contact over the net and that first phase of play. As we have a look at the service placement of Canada. Race to 15 to see who goes through second in Paul C. Germany boasts multiple good teams. Borgesuda topped their pool yesterday. Neither of these teams can top Paul C, but as mentioned before, there's an opportunity to have an easier draw going through and to avoid that lucky loser round. The lucky loser round is not somewhere any team will want to be. Chasing hard Germany, but not this time. The top four third place teams go through so every team will be watching the results so closely and the coaches will have their calculators out looking at points and sets difference the top four teams go through automatically the other eight four oh, sorry third place teams will play off one round to see who goes through to the elimination round back it's huge from Wilkerson this second touch attack has been really really well orchestrated from the physical Wilkerson. <laughs> Miss serve from Barnsley. The experienced Heather Barnsley. 98 tournaments now for her. Makes her the most experienced on the court by some margin. Wilkerson, it's her 40th tournament. And for Tillman, it's number 25. Berens, number 39. 
but it's Bansley who gets caught with the ball inside here. The ball dropping all the way and it brings the block back into the game and Germany, the 22 seeds might just be feeling confident of upsetting this competition's second highest ranked team. But they can't afford to miss their serves either. What are we watching here? Wilkerson serving, charging, trying to make a block to open up a two-point lead, which they had at least for times in that second set. Bansley back ripping to the line. This will mean so much to her. She looks to build confidence again after being blocked. Look at the celebrations. Come on, is the cool line from Germany. It was a huge shout from Behrens. Is Tillman just trickles one. So it's Behrens from the right side. High snap. Accuracy. Key in this game. Germany peppering the perimeter of court. A quick drink for Bansley, who might have just... At some sand. Bansley from the left side through the centre, goes back high line. Change of ends again. Core vision, everything you can see in the eyes of the spiker. Where are the spaces? Where can I put this ball away to? Passing straight, reverse ball, moving Wilkinson around. And then chipping it back from where she came from. Very smart for Germany. And this would have been a dream for them. To beat a Canadian side. Such a strong world tour resume when it comes to getting results and medals. Wilkerson again goes back to the line and Germany certainly have still got so much work to do in this one. Experience will play a huge part. And the Canadians have got more experience of playing big games. Slightly tight, the block's completely in the game. The tighter that ball goes to the net. Hurdles. Behrens collapsing over her partner, Tillman. Wilkerson right back. The heartbeat of the action now, the blocker. Tillman full stretch, arm underneath. Just here. Tillman almost gets up before realising that she has to get straight back down. Traffic jam in the Red Bull Beach Arena. Another miss serve. That's two in this set from Bansley. Talk about this all the time, the risk versus reward. You have to punch your serves. You have to give them a little bit of aggression and move the passing unit around, although you can't miss continuous serves. That's not ideal. 
but the challenge is out and the challenge just backs up the referee here. Lightning has definitely struck twice here because previously Bansley missed a serve. And Germany went to do exactly the same thing. More challenges coming our way, more drama coming our way again. Change of end, something has to give here. It's 8-7 to the Canadians. Wilkerson coming back in to this game in multiple ways. That ball's well out. Two challenges almost just wasted slightly from both teams. Some games coming up here as well. The Beach Volley Vikings are back on in a while. And as Mo and Christian Sodom. But in this one, Tillman from the left side now just Pats away from the body. The last two sets have been so close after Germany upsetting Canada in the first. Remember, so many people would have put their money on Canada taking this one pretty closely. Three seeds against the 22 seeds. Wilkerson, again, everything she touches at the moment is hitting the floor. Straight down the middle again. We saw that from Hawkeye, that that's a trusted move from the Canadians. Doubling up on the angle because they're aware that Tillman has that cut shot. Stroke off speed ball to the line really nicely. They're holding in the middle through Bansley, but beaten to the line, Canada. Nothing really letting up in this one. Out of system again, it's Hoyt Don, but off balance is Bansley. Germany have taken the lead here again. The last time they held the lead was in the opening set, and they only went and won that one. Hands and outs. Drifting block. Bansley just goes troubling the outside hand. If you don't want to play off the block, you should play tennis. Bansley, knowing exactly what she's doing there, he gets rewarded. Olympic gold medalist Jonas Reckerman in the crowd. The world champion as well. Once upon a time with Julius Brink, who's now working within our broadcast team. Germany have been really solid. It's their fourth event on the world tour together, but their side out play has to be admired. Bansley needing to hold her side of the bargain here from the outside. What a swing. She's in trouble there, Bansley. And she knows she has to swing deep. And she really has to get after it. Right on the line. Wilkinson says, hey, what a swing that was. 11s with both teams siding out. Fast play, or fast movements with the feet to the outside. Although, as soon as the pass and set is a little bit wild, well, that's when Brandy Wilkerson really comes into the game. The lead has shifted again. The experienced team, they know these big games well. But another missed serve. How many serves are going to go astray? 
Maybe a couple more yet. So much entertainment. Bansley chips line. It's been seen really early. Bearing from way downtown with the set and the off the net spiking from Tillman just goes long. Canada just doing enough to cause pressure with that first attack, the first side out play, and it brings the error from Germany. Canada sneaking to the finish line here. Timeout from Germany. Great time to timeout as well. Canada have missed too many serves, and now they have time to think over the next few moments. wonder Jonas Reckerman is thinking watching this one nervous faces in the crowd as Germany look to achieve what would be a really important result for this team not just for this competition but confidence wise in their fourth competition together beating one of the world's best teams number three seeds for this competition would be incredible for their development going forward in general. Tied at 13's hit. Barron serving what potentially is one of her most career-defining serves as they look to secure the second place and then making a dig again. Can Germany put this one away? No, Bansley just really does move with fluency and ease to see that one. But Germany earned the right to go again. But Wilkerson's in the way. Persistent block defense from Canada have just quietened the crowd here in the Red Bull Beach Arena. Well, there's Julius Brink from London 2012. We've just seen Jonas Reckerman in the crowd. That was his partner. Saving the match. How frustrating for Germany. Canada have snatched it. 15-13 in the final set. Two errors in the spiking department for Germany have cost them this one. They work so hard. But it's Canada, the number three seeds of Heather Bansley and Brandy Wilkinson that will take the second place in the pool. Opportunity missed for Germany, maybe. But they have a long future in this game. They're a new pairing, just their fourth competition together. The experience of Bansley and Wilkinson seeing them through. They coped with the pressure slightly better at the end. But what a game. Canada will finish second in Pool C. Switzerland will be the pool winners and therefore have the more favorable draw when it comes to the knockout rounds. But for Canada, it was crucial for them to qualify automatically in that second spot. And for Germany, where well, they're going to have to keep an eye on other results to see if they will go through automatically or if they will be a lucky loser.